what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your yet another WordPress theme development tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pretty much wrap up everything which I actually wanted to teach you because uh, yeah no this is not the end of the series actually so what this tutorial is all about is that I just realized that you know there are a lot of files in WordPress to discuss about and a lot lot of functions and hooks and all that stuff to discuss about so it's gonna take us centuries to do that and eventually we would miss on the fun part that is to theme codes uh, code the themes and actually view them on the browser so that kind of looks cool well to do that what I'm gonna do instead is that I'm gonna start developing a theme from the next tutorial onwards and in this tutorial I'm gonna wrap it up and discuss a bunch of st stuff which you can do and uh, pretty much let's get started so first of all I want to pretty much get rid of this localhost slash WP and write something interesting like my cool theme dot com and something like that and this would pop up now obviously you don't need to buy a domain for that because if you are on your computer you can do that for your computer also and uh, not also actually but for your computer only so to do that first of all open any text editor I'm using notepad plus plus just go to oh, okay so I'm already there so what how you have to go there just go to your C drive ZAMP 7 then go to a bash configuration extra and then there you'll file this file httpd vhost configuration then what you have to do is just pick up any one of these and if you don't find these because probably you would just find this one because I have added all of these myself so I guess so if you don't find any of these then pause the video after a few seconds to see what you have to write here so just change this virtual host this looks cool then change this document root to C zam 7 ht docs and not code dam but actually WP which is the name of the path the path name which refers to your directory which you want accessible then server name would be the name which you want to have as a calling name on your browser which would just load files from this path uh, behind the scenes so I'm gonna say this is let's say theme.com and here we go now once you have done with that just open again and go to C drive then go to Windows system 32 go to drivers oh, wait a minute go to no. drivers yes we are in drivers then um, no, wait a minute was it drivers okay it looks like uh, yeah so this etc folder is hidden inside here so this is the complete path you have to go to that is C Windows System 32 drivers etc and there you'll find this file host just open this file and uh, at the very last just write 127.0.0.1 and in front of it write the name of the server which you wrote right there and it says that the file cannot be saved as it may have been protected so just launch it administrator mode and it would save that happily and make sure this theme.com matches exactly with whatever you, whatever you have written right here all right so once you're done with that just restart your server once and pretty much just go to theme.com now and you'll be good to go so you can see that our website is live on theme.com so we have done that stuff and the next thing just go to your administrator area and probably I guess I have forgotten what my username and password was I guess username was Mehul and password was Mehul as well uh, username is correct but 
password is incorrect so I'm gonna show you how you can reset your password from uh, PHP my admin actually so this might be handy as well if you even f actually forget your only single account password and you are kind of logged out but actually you aren't so just go to your WP database in PHP my admin go to users and for your security what WordPress does is it does not save the passwords in plain text so even if you know your database is compromised or your only your database is compromised not your code server so the attackers would not be able to log into your users account using this encrypted passwords so even if the code base is actually uh, compromised then also they won't be able to log in into the accounts because these are sort of one-way hashing algorithms and uh, kind of it's a lot difficult to retrieve the original password back from these algorithms and kind of you know impossible you can say for now so what we are gonna do instead is that this kind of doesn't look like md5 but wordpress do support still do support md5 so just go to google and type md5 encryption online just type that you can actually do that in php as well with a simple function but anyways i'm just gonna make use of a tool right here so i'm gonna say let's just say my password would be mayhole also so just encrypt this and you can see that I get MD5 as this thing. Just copy this exactly and inside user pass, just replace that with MD5 and then log in with Mehul. And pretty sweet. Now you're good to go. Now, probably WordPress would again change this encryption, the MD5 encryption algorithm to its own one because WordPress is using a more secure one. So we no need to worry about that well at least we have got our account back so now if you go to themes and pretty much if I activate like 2015 you'll see that we get something like widgets menus header background and blah blah with that but if I activate my theme you can see I don't get pretty much anything why is that well that's a topic for some other tutorial but uh, what I wanted to show you in this tutorial was the files so so far what we have looked at is this functions.php and the name of the file you can read in the you know as a caption sort of of the link so we have uh, kind of understood what functions.php is but not so complicated because the code is a lot commented as well so the file size increases so what I'm going to do is just pretty much go through every of these files and uh, let me just zoom in if I can. So this 404 template is pretty much a template which would be visible to the user if the user is kind of located on a 404 not found. So for example, if I just say script alert script here and update the file and go to like theme.com slash 404 all right so wait a minute okay so there's some sort of problem with um, you know our the host configuration so I'm just gonna make a look at that so for now just use localhost slash wp and as you can see on a 404 not found it saves us an alert just like that so this file is of a 404 not found then right here what we have is archives now archives are pretty much another template file which we are not gonna you know need for any template development but you can just add that to add some functionality then author bio would be the biography you can just show a description sort of of the author with image then comments would be the comments content link content none well you could actually add your own files depending upon your theme as well so that's what these guys have done here then theme footer is the file which we are familiar with functions as well header as well 
then image attachment template this is kind of cool so we're gonna take a look at that later on in our series then back compact is their custom file custom header is their custom file this is custom file custom file then index.php we know that now single page.php would be the page file and since we haven't looked at what pages are so I'm just gonna leave this here but we are gonna get back to this topic later on in our template development series then search results would be the template file which would appear right here whenever you search for something then sidebar is this file this sidebar right here and then finally we have the single post which is responsible for all these posts right there so pretty much and these styles are just style sheets so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and uh, if you like this then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and again i'm just gonna take a look at just why this was not working and would probably just get it working by the next tutorial so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and we're gonna start with wordpress theme development from the next tutorial